I want to start tonight by thanking Radio Bilingue for their support of this project. I think I speak for everybody at LAPM, uh, Nicole Childers, Oscar Garza, Martin Albernaz, Fernal Choa, our producers. When I say to Hugo and Carol and Maria, Samuel and Ethel, that we're here tonight because of you. Gracias. I want to say, you know, they used to say about James Brown that he was the hardest working man in show business. Hugo Morales, I think, is the hardest working man in public media. He never stops. <laughs> and we appreciate it. Now, a lot of people said, how can you have the event in Chinatown? Well, I want to tell you that the roots of our audience are here. Let me take a quick minute to explain before I introduce our MC. We're a block from the LA River. In 1781, all of you who live here in LA know, a mixed group of Mexicans, Afro, Mestizo, Asian, Euro mix, founded LA right here down the street. They founded it at the river and they called the river Nuestra Señora de Los Angeles, Our Lady of the Angels. I'm really thrilled to be here. Um, I'm excited about this new endeavor for our city. Um, I, I think it really is the future, and, and I'm really glad to be here and watch it all unfold, watch it happen. I think you guys are right here in the forefront, and we have to take advantage of all those opportunities. Um, you know, being a reporter, I've been doing this for over 20 years now. Um, I've had a lot of work done. Uh, the thing about Hollywood. Uh, but but I, I've been doing it a while and I've watched how everything has progressed and people keep saying, you know, this is, this is dying, this is instinct, it's, it's becoming extinct, all these things are changing. And there's so many people that are so rigid and so afraid of the change. And, um, and I have to say that, you know, when I first started, and we had typewriters, it sounds so bizarre, but I remember typing scripts on typewriters. And, and I remember, uh, and there, there are so many of you that are the real pioneers out there that really remember the old days and, and did, you know, blaze the path for us. So as what I feel like as a youngster remembering typewriters, then I look at all the computer and all the digital age, all things that are happening, all the multimedia, and it's so exciting. It's an adventure. So, but I am here to, to, uh, to actually uh, to, to kick this thing off and to say on behalf of the board of directors and the, ch and, and, and the chair of our board, um, Dr. Ernie uh, Wilson, uh, who is the head of the Edinburgh School of Communication here at USC, and, uh, and the CPD board chair, and our president and CEO, uh, Pat Harrison, that we are all want to send our incredible congratulations to this momentous occasion. This is really an exciting time. This is really a, uh, one of those things you'll look back on and say, this is where it really started. This is really uh, great. So uh, what is, LAPM is a very, very important addition to the public media family of services. Public television, public radio, but public media. Uh, but this is really a groundbreaking uh, thing to target a very different audience in a very different way. Uh, and it's happening right here, and it's very appropriate that it does. CPB has invested uh, $2.4 million in this project, and, uh, and it's, it's been worth everything everything we put in it, and we, uh, we're very proud of that. Let me see if I can just put it in a little bit of context for you. When I was the chairman of the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, um, overseeing the, the board and all of the staff at CPB, most of you know that the Corporation for Public Broadcasting is the entity that oversees uh, what most of you know is NPR or PBS on the television side. It's a huge network of over 1,100 public radio and television stations. But while I was there, probably I think I served longer than any other board member, 12 and a half years, uh, appointed by President Clinton twice and confirmed by the Senate. But during those 12 and a half years, I always had this gnawing feeling, uh, having lived and worked in the Los Angeles area for so many years, that somehow or another, the public radio stations and the public television stations in Los Angeles weren't quite reaching the diverse audience. I first want to thank, um, you know, all of you for being here on behalf of our board of directors, on behalf of our staff, and hundreds of volunteers that make Rodney Greenway happen. So, in content and so forth. So, I, I want to thank you for that. But uh, 
I also want to introduce you to a couple of people who couldn't be here tonight, but through technology, we managed to capture their images and words to, uh, to uh, address a few words uh, to you. One of them is, of course, the uh, local congressperson, uh, Lucio Robal Allard, who couldn't be here with us. One of her uh, uh, community relations people is here. Uh, but, uh, and also Dr. Uh, Ross, who is the president and CEO of the largest uh, health foundation in California. Good evening. I'm Congresswoman Lucille Royball Allard. I'm sorry I can't be with you tonight, but I'd like to extend my best wishes to Radio Bilingue and Los Angeles Public Media on their new venture. I'm thrilled that this project, with support from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, will serve a young and diverse audience in Los Angeles and around the country. Congratulations and have a great celebration. Good evening. I'm Dr. Bob Ross, President of the California Endowment. Those of us who work in the foundation world are always pleased to see the creation of new enterprises that make our media more accessible and more democratic. Congratulations to Radio Malingue and Los Angeles Public Media for making our community better and much more informed. Thank you and have a good evening. You know, this has been a long, long journey, and, and Frank alluded to that. And, and for us, at least for myself, I don't know, it's been over 30 years trying to gain access to uh, a project, a platform here in Los Angeles. Uh, to help us celebrate the launch of LA Public Media and the unveiling of our website, LA Forward. I've been with LA Public Media for almost a year now. As I stand in here in front of you, I can't express, words can't express how excited I am. Not just about the unveiling, but excited to be a part of this project. All right, so part of what I wanted to do tonight is uh, unveil not only our website, but unveil what we have uh, on, our, uh, on our smartphones, on our mobile devices. Uh, and first off, what I wanted to do, and actually I have three minutes before the bomb goes off, so let's uh, burn. All right, so while you have your phone out, why don't you try to follow us on Twitter? You can find us. It's uh, LASWD. Uh, so if you have Twitter handy or Twit, you know, whatever application you're using, uh, join now and that way you don't have to do it tomorrow. Um, also, we're, gonna, we're hashtagging LASWD launch. So if anybody wants to comment as things are going, do it that way and we can all kind of follow along and, and, and see what you guys really think. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Sorry about that. Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com uh, slash LA forward. So now that I have you guys uh, connected, hopefully, show our website here. Um, our website. So I'm just going to give you a quick little little run through of what we have here on the site. Um, if you scroll down a little bit for first driving for me, um, you can see we've got a lot of blog content. We've got a lot of content that, that is flowing through. What we want to do is we want to make sure that the site has a lot of good content and also aggregated content. So we're looking at content from across the internet and we're trying to bring that in uh, to to the uh, the site. My name is Taylor Orsi and I am going to be here for LA Forward and I am at the premiere of the movie Machete and I am very excited. It's really bad for me. And uh, sorry I had to bow out of tonight's event. Uh, you know, show business is ruining my life. But here's how I'm going to make it up to you. <clears throat> I'm offering to be the voice of LA Public Media. What are they? What's in it, folks? Uh, I want to wish best wishes to all of you, and uh, I'll be listening. What it do, it's your boy Big Snoop Dogg. Shout out to LA Public Media. This is the real deal. Peace, love, and happiness with yours truly. Snoopy Deal Double G. LA is the place. You did. 